Hi everyone, it's Dina again. I am working at home with my dog. This is my new partner and coworker. Um, so he's just hanging out. But I wanted to really show you guys today how to start a Google Meet. So um, a lot of people call it Hangout, but the Google Meet is more of the larger uh, one where you can talk with over 250 people. You can have 250 people in it and 100,000 people watching. So definitely can fit your whole class of students. What you're going to want to do to get in here is go to any of your major platforms. So if you're in your email, if you're in your drive, you're just going to come over and click the meet option. And this is going to bring you to the part where you can plan your meeting. You can schedule this ahead for your students or you can start a meeting on the spot. It's however you wanna set it up. You would click join or start meeting. Since I teach enrichment, I am going to name it enrichment class. And I am, it looks like I'm joining a meeting, but since I'm the first one, I'm the one that's starting it. So you can see here, this is me in the meeting and I can um, press join meeting. No one is here because I'm the host. Now here is what is important. You can copy this info and you can give this in your Google Classroom. You can email this to your student and they'll be able to click on that link and join. So you can either tell them that you're going to start a chat at, you know, 12 o'clock on Tuesday and then you can go in and make this chat live, give it to them so that they can join. Or you can add people if you have a smaller class, you can add people manually. Um, you can see that it's since we're an educational account, it's only used in our school district. So it's not like other people are going to start joining this uh, conference. Okay. So once you're in, there's a lot of awesome features that this has. Up here at the top, you will see how many students are in your class and who's in it. It'll show up right there. You then have the option to chat. So if you wanted students to be able to ask questions, they can come in here, type and send a message. Okay, you don't have to show your camera if you don't want. So teachers might not like showing their classroom, their cameras. You can just come here and click turn off camera and they can just listen to your voice. You can also mute people. So right now I don't have anyone in here but me. But if you click on the person, you're able to mute them if other students join in with their camera and you didn't want them to be able to be um, on and have interruptions, you can mute it. And you can have them join um, with cameras or without. They can even call and join um, by phone. So if a parent doesn't have a computer, they can join in by calling and they can still hear you. They can download this on any cell phone um, any tablet. So it works across all different devices, which is really helpful. Another great tool um, you might be able to see down here is the caption tool. So this actually allows you to um, turn on captions for your students and it will write out what you are saying. So this is helpful if something you're saying is too quick. If your students have any type of disability, if you have any students who cannot hear, this is going to be awesome for them. You can also present your screen. So if you want to show them something, again, you don't have to show yourself. You can then just present your screen. So it will ask you if you want to present just a window or your entire screen. This is helpful if you don't want them to see everything on your computer. I can select just a window and it's going to let you pick what thing do you want. So I want to go over this um, assignment that is going to be for my students. I can hit share. Now, since we are not, you're not viewing what someone else would see, they would be able to see my presentation. I would be able to go through this with my students and show them all the components, explain they're seeing everything that I am doing. So I also wanna show you that 
um, down here, you would see attachments if you attached something through Google Calendar, and I'll show you that in a second. And then you're also able to, um, like I said before, turn the camera off, even change the layout. So when you have more than one person, you can change how everything is set up. You can have like a main person that's speaking and everyone's camera on the side or no camera at all. It's totally up to you. Another way to invite people, and this is good even if you want to chat with your colleagues. So if there's like a bunch of third grade teachers and you all want to chat, this is a great way to do it. You can actually go into your calendar. So again, you'll go into your calendar by clicking on the little waffle, as we call it, and hitting calendar. And you can plan a meeting ahead. So once you go in, you will be able to click on a day. So let's say tomorrow I want to meet with some of my co co um, colleagues. I can say um, third grade math meeting. I can add a time in. So I want to meet at 10 a.m. And I can type directly who the people are. For privacy reasons, I won't type names just because I don't want um, people's names coming up across the internet. And then you can come here and you can hit add conferencing and this will create a link and it will email everyone with this meeting reminder and it's going to let your um, whoever you're inviting know that you're going to have this meeting. It's going to be video and when it's time, they'll be able to click right on that link and join right in. It's super easy. Um, you can see if I hit more options that it's also going to allow me to write any description so you can tell them to come prepared with some kind of forms or anything like that. You can also add attachments. You can add attachments right from your Google Drive. So if you wanted your colleagues to see a certain project you're working on, you can hit that right in and they will all get a copy of that. It's very easy to set up. You can have them notify and you'll send it out and then they will get an alert through their email. It's gonna look something like this when you get the alert. You can see that they're gonna say that they're, you're inviting someone to a meeting and they'll be able to join right in and click through the meeting. So it's very easy to do. Again, it records up to a lot of people. So you're able to have um, many people on it at once. The closed captions are great. If you want to turn it off, just one click. Um, so use this to your advantage. If you're in education, um, this is free. It's really easy to do. You can record this and save it, and then you can share this also with your class. So for people who couldn't attend, you can um, record it and then send it to your class. So um, Keep in mind with all of these things, when you're done, you just hang up. It's um, very easy to do. And you'll see that right in your main Hangout screen, it will tell you which Hangouts you have and what appointments. So I hope this helps you as you go to digital learning. Let me know if you have any questions and good luck.